There he goes, off the mark. Chase for Afsal. Oh, great shot. Beautifully played, and uh, Mark Ward doesn't even bother to take more than a couple of steps, just in celebration down the pitch. Timed it away beautifully, and a lot of people have come in on this pitch today and found timing hard to come by. Not Mark War, it seems. Oh, that's time well, too. Look at that. Four all runs. Well, that's an edge which uh, Andy Cadig again has produced a good delivery. Which sadly this time for him, just to add further insult, will go for four. No ball. Well, no ball called. It was tossed up high as well. And for once, the caller no ball with the swing with the spin bowler gives uh, Mark War as much time as he wants to go for the shot. That was filth. Oh, that's a great shot. Well, presented with the four from the previous delivery, but uh, a lot of credit there to Mark Wall for the, play, the way he played that one. Got himself into the perfect position, just a little bit of movement down the pitch, and then timed it beautifully. Last Ashes Test match of uh, the 2001 campaign. Well, through the gap on the offside, and that'll be four. It's the 300 up for Australia. That's through the gap and four. A very good shot there, loose delivery there. Through extra cover. Ormond uh, chasing. That's 50 though for Mark Waugh. Two off the first ball he's uh, received today takes him through to his half century. And as ever, it's an accomplished one. Always good to watch. Always very elegant, Mark Waugh at the crease. And always very consistent. 50 from 65 without really breaking sweat. Seven fours. Well, that's one area you can't bowl to him. He is so strong there, Mark War. He takes the ball through that area from pretty straight, but when you actually bowl at leg stump, it tends to uh, whistle to the boundary. Just makes it look so easy. Turn the bat, flicked it beautifully. No need to run for that one. Well, it was in the air. How close was it to uh, Phil Tuffner? I think it is the man at square leg. Who's and ours. It's four runs. It's definitely in the air. Well, there's nothing wrong with that shot. That is quality. Ten from the over. It's 3.57 for two. Well, that's uh, an interesting shot. Now, there's a bit of uh, Calypso in that. There definitely was uh, West Indian style batting this one here. I don't know what he's... I think he was trying to hit him down the ground in the air. And it's just got a bottom corner. He's hit it pretty well. Down he comes. Didn't quite get there, but it uh, hasn't made an awful lot of difference. Mark Wall really had to stretch for that at the end, but the one thing he did right was uh, keep his eye on the ball, and the ball has gone a long way back. 377 for two. That wasn't a bad delivery at all from Phil Tufnell. That would have defeated most batsmen. 
Instead, it has defeated the man at long on and a few rows of seats. Not where that should have been. Well, that's got past this time. That's just timing from Mark Walk. Made to look incredibly easy. Well, that's down the leg side and helped down the leg side for four. Well, no pressure being applied by the England bowlers. Man. All too easy for Australia. That's his hundred. And what a good hundred. Every run that he scores now, Mark Butcher will be ruining that missed chance. That's water under the bridge. It's gone. And Mark War. Gave him a chance, he's going to make the most of it. 100 not out. Can you believe there was talk, Mikey, about him being left out of the Australian side? Well, I've heard that on so many occasions. I've been hearing that now for perhaps the last three or four years at different stages of his career. Got the Acknowledge the dressing room and his captain. I would come up and say, well done, mate, but the legs are hurting. But well done anyway. Magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. Treating the bowling with total contempt. Fine shot. This is extraordinary stuff from Mark Warner. No sooner had he reached his hundred than, uh, well, any restraint he'd shown before completely dismissed. And uh, the only other thing being dismissed now is the England bowling. Free reign to play uh, all the shots, and Hussein eventually bowing to the inevitable. He's got to put a man back. Triscothic, who uh, watched that go over his head. On the way to the boundary now, uh, back on that boundary. Seven and a half thousand runs for Mark Warner in Test cricket. Fine shot. That's imperious. <laughs> Looks like uh, someone's uh, shot Steve Waugh in the leg, though. I'm already feeling some pain. Well, that tested his leg out for it. Not the one on strike, the one not on strike. Just watch this, if he's in picture. Absolutely creams that back. Steve's a little bit worried about Goffey getting uh, something on this delivery. Uh, no way in the world. And there's Steve tumbling over the other end to get back at his crease. Well, it's gone quite a long way. Yeah, it's over the ropes for six. This is now, although he didn't quite get to hold of it fully, it still cleared the ropes. This is now one day cricket for Mark Wall. 489 for two. Well, I've seen these shots uh, in one day internationals from Mark Wall. It's not so long ago he was setting a record for an Australian batsman in that form of cricket. Well, he says, I think I've got that in the screws. I won't bother walking down the pitch to this one. Gives himself a bit of room. Goffey bowls it at the stumps. There she goes. Disappears. Well, between the rope and the fence, it's a long boundary down there. Possibly the longest one on this ground. That's got him. Well, consolation for Darren Goff. The end of an extraordinary innings. Mark Waugh, having got to his 100, was intent on pressing the accelerator pedal. He'd begun to give himself room up until this moment with uh, great success. But the Oval crowd will now rise to their feet and salute a wonderful batsman. Well, a little bit of uh, adventurism there. Didn't pay off this time. Full of delivery there. And the crowd here standing on their feet at the Oval. Full house here again today. Beautiful sunshine beautiful weather not a beautiful 
result for England, but what a career this man's had. Mark Wall, 120 out. Three for 489.